Hello, Cancer. This is your love reading for November. Let's see what's coming in for Cancer. And please like and subscribe if my readings resonate with you. If not, feel free to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. Usually at the time of full moons, new moons, or eclipses, your rising sign will resonate more. So make sure to look at your other sign placements. Okay, Cancer. We have follow your dreams. Okay. And we have give love. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, you have affirmation for healing the heart. I feel like, Cancer, with those cards coming out, I feel like maybe someone bruised your heart. Or maybe you bruised someone's heart. Are you the reason for maybe a breakup, Cancer? Hmm. Let's dive deeper. Okay, we have birds of a feather. And endless possibilities. Okay. And we also have feeling the world at the bottom. Okay, very interesting so far, Cancer. Sometimes I feel like you're a little hard to read because, Cancer, you are so mysterious. Hmm. Okay, let's get some more cards out here. See what's going on. Love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Okay. And adversity. I accept the challenges are best. Are, I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. Okay. I, well, I feel like. At the bottom of the deck, you have discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. Okay, Cancer, I feel like you're you are kind of doing some really deep soul searching at the moment. You are definitely working on yourself. Um, but I feel like that I feel like there's more than one person pursuing you, Cancer. I feel like that's why I feel like you have follow your dreams, endless possibilities, birds of a feather. Now, this birds of a feather, it could be a three-party situation, but it could also be people supporting you, people who have your back. Let's get some more information here. We have the Ace of Swords and we have the Strength card. Okay. Two cards want to come out at once. We have the Three of Pentacles. We have the Four of Cups. We have the Ace of Cups. You have the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Cups. So definitely some new coming in. <laughs> yeah, you have the Three of Cups, which is the same as Birds of a Feather. So mm, that's very interesting, Cancer. That's very interesting that that card would come out. We also have the Temperance. And we have the Four of Swords. 
Okay. Now at the bottom of the deck, we have the Hermit. So yeah, I feel like, Cancer, I feel like you are kind of isolating yourself. Are you isolating yourself from the world because of a situation that happened? Um, I feel like you're gaining your strength. You are building yourself up. With these two aces here, I feel like you definitely have new beginnings. You definitely have new beginnings in the in the process. The the Ace of Swords is new ideas, new perspectives, new ways of thinking about something. And the Ace of Cups is new passions, new love, new um, new relationships. So I feel like something is something has changed you. Something is changing you, Cancer. I think that's what I need to say. Something is changing you. Because with the, the new ideas and the new beginnings here, you have a strength. You have built up your strength. I feel, I feel that for you. And here you have the three of pentacles and the four of cups. So I feel like it could be that you have people who are gathering for you, people who are showing you new things. Now, I know that's not the meaning of the four, four of cups, but I'm, I'm generally feeling that for you. I'm, I'm intuitively feeling that, that these are new ideas coming towards you that's going to bring you a fresh start. And I feel like with the Three of Pentacles, you have a team behind you who's supporting you. You also have the Three of Cups. The Three of Pentacles and the Three of Cups, You, if this is not a third-party situation, if... And this may be a third party situation. This may be you having to make a choice. This could be you having to make a choice or else missing an opportunity with one of these three. Hmm. Very interesting, Cancer. Very interesting. But I do see that this is a new beginning. This is definitely a new beginning that's going to lead to new passions, new adventures, new, new love. And it could be lasting love. Uh, with the Ace of Cups and the Temperance here, I feel like this, this Ace of Cups is bringing you balance. It's bringing you harmony. It is kind of fulfilling your needs. That's kind of what I'm feeling right now. I'm, I'm feeling like this new person balances you out, kind of makes you better. Wow, okay. You also have the Four of Swords here. So I feel like you are, that, that's exactly what you're looking for. You're looking for someone to balance you out. You're looking for someone who gives you that stability and that drive and that um, renewed energy to give you time to recover from whatever you need to recover from. Very interesting. I believe it's interesting, but it's pretty straightforward, Cancer. Um, what makes it so interesting is that all these threes, 
you've got birds of a feather, which is three, three of pentacles, which is three, and three of cups. So lots of threes. I'm feeling, I'm really feeling like there's a third party in here. Okay, with the ace of swords, you have the queen of wands. This new beginning could be with someone who's very charismatic, someone who is very entrepreneurial, someone who is oh wow. <laughs> with the strength card, you have the strength card. So wow, yes. With the three of pentacles, you have justice. Hmm. So I think if this is a third party situation, I think someone's going to find out about it. Um, yeah, if this is something that you're doing to two other people, if this is you making this, this third party situation, I feel like karma's going to come around and it's going to get you for that. But if this is not you, if this is someone else doing this third party situation, I feel that karma is going to come. Okay, with the Four of Cups, you have the Ace of Wands. Definitely new beginnings coming. A definitely a new project, a new inspiration. Some fiery energy that's going to inspire you to start something new. This Ace of Cups, we have the Four of Swords. So yeah, we have the Four of Swords twice in this reading as well. So I think that you are definitely finding some recovery, some relaxation. You're trying to rejuvenate yourself. Um... You're kind of trying to rebound, is what I'm getting. Maybe this new situation is going to be a rebound for you. You're rebounding from the situation. With the Three of Cups, I see the Ten of Swords. So, yeah, something's going to be ending. So, if this is a third party situation, that's going to be ending. And you'll be walking away from it, or they'll be walking away from you, one or the other. With the temperance, you have the Knight of Cups. Um, so I feel like if this is not a new person coming in, this is definitely uh, an apology. This is definitely an apology. Um, if this is not a new person. Okay, and with the Four of Swords, we have the Seven, seven of Pentacles. So I think after your recovery, you are going to be planting your seeds. You, you are very patient in the situation, um, but you're planting your seeds. And you may be planting your seeds to leave a situation is what I'm getting. Yeah, you may be moving on with an empress with the empress energy now this can be male or female this doesn't have to be a female but this yeah you may be moving on with an empress energy someone who's very fertile very abundant or this could be just a very abundant time in your life at the moment okay i need a little bit more clarity for this this is just too intriguing. What is this? Three of Pentacles. I'm steady feeling like this is a third party situation. Now we have the threes four times in this in this reading. We have the Three of Cups, the Three of Pentacles. We have the Three of Pentacles. And we also have Birds of a Feather. This is definitely a third party situation. Someone is not telling the truth here. Someone, it, it's going to come bite you in the butt, whoever this is. If this is you, Cancer, or I 
don't believe it's you though. It may not be you. But there's definitely a third party situation in this reading. There's definitely information here. Okay, let's take some monology and see what's going on with that. Now we, we do have the sun at the bottom of the deck. So after all of this, the Ten of Swords, and all of these threes, there is the sun at the bottom. So there is a light at the end of the tunnel. But I'm feeling like Cancer for you, this is definitely going to be a roller coaster ride. That's the reason why you have the strength twice in this reading. You have the strength twice in this reading because these new beginnings that you're going through are going to be a roller coaster ride. They're going to be something that is going to be life changing. Life changing is what I want to say. Okay, Cancer, let's get some monology cards to close out this reading. Let's get some monology cards. Okay, we have a personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon in Cancer. Okay, so I think you're finding clarity on the situation. Don't let the past hold you back, South Node. Okay. Expect powerful change, new moon eclipse. And matter of fact, we're going to go through the eclipse probably when I'm uploading this video. So, wow. You're going to be going through a powerful, powerful change, Cancer. And yeah, at the bottom of the deck, you have the super moon. Emotions are running high. So yeah, it's definitely going to be a roller coaster ride for you, Cancer. Um, hang on to your bootstrings um, because yeah, you're going to be going for a ride. Okay, Cancer, this is your reading. Uh, if this resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads and make a effort to look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. And many blessings to you, Cancer. Love and light.